Uh, absolutely. Well, first of all, you know, the, the programs and, uh, well, especially in the Air Force, uh, if you uh, think about dogfighting, there's an old adage that says speed is life. And uh, that is never truer than in uh, cyber. The bottom line is speed is life in cyber. And we always talk about we need to operate at the speed of cyber. And we're literally in a spy versus spy game every day. The bad guys are wiggling windows, shaking doors, to trying to get into our back door. And fun fundamentally, we have an older construct uh, as background. Our infrastructure was laid down on several major commands. So every major command had a unique infrastructure. Uh, we have started, we have rolled all of those infrastructures up, but the bottom line is it is really, really hard to start doing something enterprise-wide. And if you are gonna get at speed of light and going back to a dogfight, there was a guy named Boyd, and he said he was the greatest fighter pilot that ever walked the earth, and I don't think I've ever met a fighter pilot that didn't tell me that. Right. That's right. But, they probably um, shouldn't be fighter pilots. Exactly they they right. don't think that way. But he looked at the world in an OODA loop, and he said, so if you ever hear an Air Force person talk about OODA loops, he said that he could break down the actions of the of that dogfight into observe, orient, decide, act. And whoever does that the fastest, whoever shrinks that OODA loop down the fastest, and then if you're really good, you start introducing errors into the other side's OODA loop and make theirs long and lethargic, and you'll always be inside their turning cycle when you go forward. So when we start talking about operating at the speed of cyber, we started looking at this 600,000 endpoint infrastructure that goes all over the world and said, how are we gonna operate at the speed of cyber? And we challenged our folks and uh, they came up with a program called Automated Remediation and Asset Discovery, ARAD. We love acronyms in the military. Mm -hmm. And we, we said we need to start getting the back doors of the bad guys and get it incorporated. So going back to Boyd, you first need to know your infrastructure, which, you know, uh, when you have a 600,000 endpoint worldwide, you'll find somebody take a laptop out of their three drawer plug it in, and now your topography that the, you thought you had yesterday is not what you have today. So it's constantly moving. So we had to incorporate that, at, and uh, one of the things this program does is rapidly find all of your endpoints, characterize it. Now let's start getting into that OODA loop that we ne need to remediate. So all of the scan patch remediation, if you look at how we in the previous life did this, it would be weeks before we could patch something. And fundamentally, if you're trying to get in that spy versus spy, get inside right. that OODA loop, you're never going to get there right. because it's weeks to do this. So part of that program is to also rapidly scan, patch, and, to understand, and then remediate. And um, we have these things called uh, command cyber readiness inspections. They come from U.S. Cyber Command, and everybody needs to be up to speed on that. It would be a long, lethargic process to find all the things that they were, all the back doors they were looking for, et cetera, and to patch them individually. Uh, as soon as we got ARAD up and running, we rapidly found that it remediated and found things very quickly, and what used to take weeks, months, et cetera, is now rapidly being done through ARAD, which, okay, you can sit there and say, well, yeah, that's exercise or that's an inspection. Right. But we rapidly came to the WannaCry situation. Mm -hmm. And uh, while the world was kind of pouting over what happened, uh, we went through that 600,000 endpoint. Uh, ARAD was able to patch all those endpoints, and for all the suspicious um, systems they had, they pushed it off on the side. It also gives us the capability to start doing holes and honeypots, et cetera, which now you start getting into the other portion of Boyd's OODA loop where you make theirs long and lethargic right. and start introducing errors in there. So fundamentally, it has been very, very successful. In the past, it would take us weeks, months, et cetera. And if somebody finds a back door, you can't let them have that. And you see a lot of the, the worldwide criminal elements. They'll look for a patch. They'll engineer it, figure out what it's patching, and then they f figure they have a window of opportunity to exploit whatever that back door is. Having a capability where you can push enter, and then all of a sudden having it all patched, that's when you start getting in the spy versus spy. Not only patching our doors, but then going after theirs. So if they attack us on this side, coming back, and quite honestly, we're seeing that across uh, the Air Force. There's lots of bad guys that are putting back doors because Fundamentally, do you, do you really want to buy an airplane, first of all, 
then train them up to standards to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Air Force, or do you want to right. look as an asymmetrical attack? That's what we're finding. So what we have to do is find where they're exploiting right. that back door and then close it. Right. I can't wait to talk to my grandkids about OODA loops. That's going to be an exciting. And I'll tell you what, when they get into the workforce, too, you better be at the speed of cyber because the way they work on those Absolutely. iPads now at very young ages are going to be an amazing challenge. It's, to, uh, it's funny you say that. So that's one of the bigger parts of my job is to give our airmen a environment for them to do exactly what you're saying. And um, I, I'll tell you, I skip to work every day because our airmen are amazing. And um, a long, long time ago when I entered, they'd say, well, you do that because we've always done it that way. These guys shrug their shoulders and go, there should be an app for this. That's right. And then they create that app, and it waters your eyes. And then, you know, somebody's in your CIO office going, you can't allow this bad behavior to happen. No, 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 I want open architecture to hang that thing on. Now I need to make sure it's secure. But I am telling you, these guys are very, very fast at what they do. And I think that's another thing that I like about ARAD. The way things were be, being done in DOD a long time ago was you kind of had this big demarcation line between the people that were run, you know, doing the war and the people that were providing the tools. That demarcation line's gone. I mean, uh, the people that provide tools are in the foxhole with us every day. And the good news is I've got really neat airmen that can sit in the foxhole with the providers and go, no, we need to change happy to glad. And actually, they're fun to be around. I would, I would hold on to my wallet the entire time you're talking to them. But they are very, very good at what they do. And they, in Boyd's OODA Loop, they find faster, nastier ways to do business. Wow. And it's really, really fun to be around them. Fantastic. Well, now, if I asked you about a lesson learned that you'd pass on uh, as you work your way through this cyber speed and uh, speed of cyber, uh, is there something you'd pass on, a lesson learned that comes to mind that you think is uh, worth mentioning? I, yeah, oh, absolutely. So first of all, it is uh, teamwork. When you have that large a network uh, worldwide, you need to make sure everybody's on board. And quite frankly, people don't like change. So um, the, the younger guys do. Sometimes the curmudgeons, and I find younger gets it, older, uh, very senior people get it. It's the curmudgeons in between. They're usually the ones in my office saying, don't allow this bad behavior. Um, sometimes we got to kind of sideline those guys and right. get those pe uh, the people in there. What's wonderful for me is my leadership encourages the bad behavior. I mean, at, from secretary, chief, vice chief, all of them go, we need to foster this innovation piece. And it is very, it, it's very helpful for me when I'm trying to remove those curmudgeons right. to be able to do this. And then, you know, the last part is you start getting these apocalyptic predictions that right. if you do this, if you run this, the world is going to end. Right. And uh, when you have senior leadership going, BJ, don't worry about it. You do it, and don't accept any phone calls. Send them to me. Yeah. That's a great, great environment to yeah. live and work in. Yeah, you know, 